Hello everyone, I'm Geek Freak and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be reacting to your favourite Canadian YouTuber A's video, Doom Guy vs Hellboy Show Off Showdown. So if you, have, if you haven't seen this video, go and watch that video first. As soon as you come, come back, come back, watch me, watch this. So let's, let's let me continue. Would you imagine that? A whole lot of water. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay. I know a little bit about uh, Hellboy and uh, I... I know a teeny weeny little bit about Doom Guy, and uh, apparently Doom Guy, Doom Guy went to Mars and he found a gateway to hell there, which is kind of odd. I mean, you would have would have thought like hell would have been down there instead of like being up there. <laughs> uh, oh well, there's plenty of room in Eminem, eh? <laughs> so, um, hell boy, uh, I've seen I've seen two of the movies. And I heard there was like a comics. Yeah, obviously there's obviously a comic book for that. But um, um, I'm not even 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 though I, I know know him a little bit, I'm not really sure what sort of powers he has. I mean, he uh, I think he's like sort of like royalty or something. And he's got like that that thing on his arm that can uh, un unleash the gateways to um to hell or something. Excuse me. And as for uh, Doom Guy, he has like like all. All the all these uh, guns, and then there's the the, the BFG, the big friended giant. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Uh, he's got that um, that gun thing. Uh, I saw the nostalgia critic. Uh, uh, the nos the nos no, no, say it again. The nostalgia critic um, mo movie on uh, on Doom. Well, actually, on who was the who was the Doom guy in that in that uh, movie? Anyways, anyways, uh, who do who do I think I would uh, who do who do I think would win? Well, since Elboy is um, I'm not a, a demon himself, and you know he might have like uh, pfft, I don't know, supernatural powers. Maybe him, but at, at the same time, Doom Guy has been dealing with lots and lots of demons, and he's also got that BFG thing, and he's got like uh, this gun that can destroy demons. So um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go with Doom Guy on uh, on on this uh, video. So with all that said and done, let's get to watching. Okay, so this is Doom Guy versus Hellboy, and three, two, one, and go. Welcome to Show Off Showdown. Ooh, 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 In this ooh, series, ooh. the fighters are called Show Offs, and this is the series for the Show Off Showdown. Now let's meet the Show Offs for tonight's Showdown, shall we? It's, it's nearly nine, nine minutes. <laughs> kind of looks like Halo. Hellboy looks That's like he gives right, zero doom Fs. Guy versus Hellboy. Will Hellboy meet his doom, or will Doom Guy burn in the fires of hell? It's time to find out. I put links to the analysis of both characters in the description below. Music spit loud. Now, without further ado, it's time for the show up to showdown. Woo, 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 woo. Get ready for the next battle. Man, elbow looks like. Uh, elbow, elbow looks, looks like a hobo. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Man, what a 
Hot damn. like doom guy met his ultimate doom nah. get it now let's discuss how and why hellboy wins this hardcore demonic showdown okay, let's go now before we start not sure if anyone has ever noticed this but the music that's currently playing in the background right now is actually a doom soundtrack just thought you'd find that interesting <laughs> okay now that we got Ooh. that out of the way let's start off with who's more skilled and experienced now, I believe Hellboy is over 70 years old, despite looking much younger, so he should have more experience in general. Although, Doomguy definitely has a lot of fighting experience, especially when it comes to fighting demons, which will definitely help him in this battle. While both fighters are very skilled in multiple types of firearms, melee weapons, and hand-to-hand -hand combat, I think it's safe to say that Hellboy is technically smarter and more clever than Doomguy, especially considering the fact that Doomguy isn't really much of a strategist, and he usually prefers to rush in and overpower his opponent. He's basically a mixture of brawn over brain and shoot first, ask questions later type of guy. Enough said. Now let's discuss strength. Now, both fighters are quite impressively strong in their own right. Not only is Doomguy strong enough to casually tear demons limb from limb with little effort, but he can also punch the Cyber Demon and Spider Mastermind to death Jesus with his bare Christ. hands with a Berserker pickup, which is oh, quite yeah. impressive I'll, I'll considering how big and tough these kinds of demons are. Now, as for Hellboy, not only can he easily break concrete and casually snap steel, but he's also strong enough to lift at least two tons, if not more, lifted a huge boulder and crushed metal with it, threw a giant tree trunk into a giant's neck, shattered a hydra head in two, and even one-shotted a dinosaur. Now, rather if Hellboy <laughs> is physically stronger than Doomguy or not is debatable, although I think it's safe to say that Hellboy's Prince of Hell form would very likely be stronger than Doomguy. Now, let's discuss durability. Not only is Doomguy's arm Armor tough enough to tank a lot of demonic abuse, but he can also tank multiple rounds of plasma, explosions, and attacks from demons capable of tearing grown men in half easily. Not to mention, he can survive at least two rockets from the Cyber Demon before the point of death. Now as for Hellboy, he casually tanks and walks off explosions on a regular basis, survive getting impaled so multiple times, it. can fall from hundreds if not thousands of feet and walk it off like nothing, regularly takes hits from giant monsters and robots, he's completely immune to fire and electricity, and he even tanked a massive explosion that destroyed an entire castle. So clearly Hellboy is definitely a lot harder to put down than he looks. Not to mention Hellboy also has a healing factor, which is yet another tough obstacle that even Doomguy will have a hard Hard time getting really past. Now let's see what weapons they got packed up their arsenal. As <laughs> most of you may know, arsenal. Doom Guy has got a lot, and I mean a lot of weapons packed up his arsenal, including pistols, shotguns, rifles, machine guns, chain guns, chainsaws, rocket launchers, plasma guns, etc. And he somehow carries and wields them all at once. Not to mention, Doom Guy also has a few temporary power-ups, such as supercharge, partial invisibility, invulnerability, and of course, berserker mode. Now while Hellboy doesn't have as many weapons in his arsenal as Doom guy, he makes up for his lack of quantity with quality. For example, Hellboy has the right hand of Doom, a virtually indestructible gauntlet-like weapon grafted onto his right hand since he was born. <laughs> Not only that, but he also has a very powerful handgun built for one-shotting. And there's the big baby, a miniature handheld rapid-fire rocket launcher. <laughs> he has a few types of grenades and melee weapons, and the Excalibur sword that King Arthur once wielded, and not to mention an amulet used to resurrect Hellboy should he die in the process. Now, even though Hellboy has a vastly small arsenal compared to Doom Guy, it won't really matter in the long run, because one of the most important categories of this debate would most likely be speed. While Doom Guy is very fast in his own right, being able to dodge gunfire and even outrun his own rockets, but Hellboy, on the other hand, can definitely top this. Not only has he been seen blitzing enemies multiple times, but he once snatched a missile out of the air, which kind of makes Doomguy's rocket launcher somewhat useless in this scenario. Not only that, but Hellboy can also dodge gunfire as well as lightning and even lasers, which means he could potentially avoid just about everything Doomguy has to throw at him. Although Hellboy does usually focus on tanking hits that he knows won't damage him very much, so that might conflict it a bit. Now, it seems I forgot to mention the strongest weapons earlier, such as everyone's favorite 
favorites, the BFG, as an example. However, <laughs> as powerful as it is, considering that it takes a few BFG rounds just to kill a cyber demon, I doubt that even the PS BFG PS 10 would be enough to put down I'm Hellboy so easily. If anything, Doomguy's best shot at taking down Hellboy would most likely be the Unmaker, a weapon that directly feeds on the demonic energy of the target. And considering that Hellboy obviously has demonic heritage, the Unmaker is more likely to affect and harm Hellboy than most of Doomguy's other weapons. However, because of the clear speed advantage I mentioned earlier, it's highly unlikely that Doomguy would be able to unmake Hellboy so easily. Besides, I haven't even talked about Hellboy's strongest weapon yet, now have I? Go. Now, Hellboy's most powerful or destructive weapon would most likely be his Vulcan 65 grenade, which is even really? more powerful than the Vulcan 50, which is powerful enough to blow up an entire mountain. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it takes roughly 248 megatons of TNT to destroy a mountain, which is the equivalent of nearly five Zar nukes. Way more than enough Damn. power to put Doomguy out of commission for good. I think I've said enough. So overall, while an opponent like Doomguy would definitely put up a good fight against someone like Hellboy, but with Hellboy having just about every statistical advantage over Doomguy, and more than enough destructive firepower to finish him off, I think it's safe to say that Hellboy has what it takes to really give Doomguy hell to pay. So, in the end, Doomguy has suffered a very brutal doom. Fine, I'll stop. The winner of this battle is Hellboy. <laughs> Woo! Got any ideas for show off showdown? Then let me know in the comments below, and hopefully, I just might do them. Now stay tuned for the next episode of Show Off Showdown. Woo! That's awesome. Oh, what's wrong, girl? You alright? That's my dog. Uh, oh, I, th I think I think you might, might be scared of the fireworks or something. Actually, I think that's what it is. Okay, so, uh, look, look, look at that. She's just sit, sit, sitting there all by lonesome. <laughs> Alright, okay, okay, enough of the dog. Okay, so, um, that, okay, to be honest, that was actually fun. That was very, very fun. And, you know what? Thanks for, thanks for reminding me. I am going to get Doom. I'm, I'm going to get that game. It looks, looks fun if it's on PlayStation 4. I, I'll get that. So, um, yeah, I actually really, really enjoyed this, uh, this episode. I always enjoy, I always enjoy the analysis when it comes to this um, the these sort these sort of uh, fights, and oh, shock! It didn't have any Skylander uh, characters or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Ruby. It's some something different, <laughs> and you know what? Kudos! That was that, that was that was fantastic, and um, now I'm a little dis disappointed that Doomguy lost, but, the same, but you know, to be honest, when it comes to like these two, I'm uh, more I'm strictly neutral. But um, uh, I like Hell. I like Hellboy. I've seen like the movies. You know, it it, it was all good. And when it comes to Doom Guy, uh, I only know a little bit, little bit about. It. I mean, I haven't played the games or anything. But you know what? I I I actually go and uh, like bu uh, buy the uh, the game itself. So uh, yeah. So let let me think of a uh, a character or or some something that that. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, what about um? Okay, I, I've I've asked I've asked this uh, once and I'll and I'll ask again. Um, <laughs> um, what about Goku Super Saiyan God when he first meets Beerus versus Super Saiyan Four Vegito? Now, of obvious obviously Super Saiyan Three Vegito wouldn't be able to like beat uh, Goku, but what about Super Saiyan Four Vegito? Can a Super Saiyan 4 Vegito beat a Super Saiyan God? Uh, to be uh, to be honest, I, I'm not really sure. But uh, from what well, from what I've heard from uh, she's lying down now. <laughs> Look, see, she's lying down. Um, from what I heard from uh, I can't remember. Uh, was it like Clyde or was it um, uh, Chuck that said that a, a a base Super Saiyan? No, I'll say it again. A based Vegito is more powerful than a Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Which is uh, pretty freaking impressive, if you ask me. So that means, if go if um, Vegeta was to go Super Saiyan one, that's like fifty su that's like fifty Super Saiyan threes into one guy, and then when he goes Super Saiyan two, that's like a hundred Super Saiyan threes, and then when he goes into Super Saiyan three, that's like four hundred Super Saiyan threes, and when he goes Super Saiyan four, that's like four thousand Super Saiyan threes. I mean, that's insane, isn't it? Absolutely insane. Uh, but you know that that's that's what I uh, like heard from. Uh, uh, from I think I can't remember which one it was. It was Clyde or Clyde or it was um, Chuck. But um, 
This um, question has been bothering me for ages. I want to know who would win between a Super Saiyan God Goku well, with um, with no transformations. It's just Super Saiyan God. No uh, transformations to Super Saiyan Blue. It's just Super Saiyan God versus Super Saiyan 4. Because I think that a Super Saiyan uh, 3 Vegito wouldn't be able to defeat Goku. But what about a Super Saiyan 4 Vegito? That's what I'd like to know. Um... I mean, I've I've been I've been it's been like going through my head for a long, long time, and I have absolutely no idea what um <laughs> you know what the outcome would be. I mean, Super, Super Saiyan Four Vegito is on a whole new different level from Super Saiyan Four. I mean, for Super no, say it again. Super Saiyan Three is on an is um is only for like four thousand. Oh, sorry, yeah, four hundred, and Super Saiyan Four is on four thousand. I mean, that's insane, absolutely insane. So um. I think a Super Saiyan, a Super Saiyan God can be a Super Saiyan Three Vegito, but I, I'm not sure about Super Saiyan Four, which is why I'd like to know. So, um, anything else? What about um, let's see, uh, what about? Got it. I know. I, I I know. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea for for a um. Well, actually, I've got two. Okay, number one, the real Ghostbusters versus the. Filmation Ghostbusters. If you guys, if you guys know what um, what I'm talking about, you've got like the real Ghostbusters was like um, the, um, Fentman, uh, Spengler, um, Winston, the, all those guys. And then there's like the other Ghostbusters, which has got like a gorilla with them, and they've got like two guys that um, that doesn't technically like trap them or destroy them. It just like sends them to another dimension for a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I would like to see Ghostbusters versus Ghostbusters. That would be awesome to see. The, original, the real Ghostbusters versus the Filmation's Ghostbusters. And <coughs> I, I actually think that would be a fun uh, battle to uh, watch. So, uh, what's, the, what's the other one? Okay. What about um, the, the evil giants from the BFG versus the Titans from Attack on Titan? I mean, how cool would that be? Two giants going on, on at each other. That would be awesome to see. So, it'd be... The Evil Giants from the BFG cartoon, I ha which I highly recommend. Go and watch uh, the BFG cartoon. It's it's on it's on YouTube somewhere. Just look up uh, the BFG cartoon, and like what watch it from beginning to end. I mean, that was my childhood when when I was growing up. It's it's a, a fantastic um, um, movie to see. Uh, I haven't seen like live action, and yeah, you know, we all we all know that you know like adaptation. You know, some adaptations are going to suck absolutely badly. So yeah, go and watch the. Uh, the, the animation to that so yeah, yeah anyways yeah uh, the evil giants from the BFG versus the titans from attack on titan so yeah that'd be cool giants versus titans that'd be awesome to see so please 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 let, let that happen that, that, that'd be fun to watch um anything else anything else anything else um what about Alucard from Hel Helsing Ultimate versus Spawn that, that'd be awesome that would be awesome to see that would be absolutely freaking awesome to see. I mean, Alucard is nigh unstoppable at the end of the, at the end of the series. Spoilers, and uh, Spawn is like not nigh you know unstoppable as well. So I mean, yeah, uh, uh, Alucard from Elsing Ultimate versus Hell Spawn. Put them together. That'd be awesome. So that there's your three. Uh, Super Saiyan Go Goku versus Super Saiyan Four Vegito. Um, uh, um, the the real Ghostbusters versus the Filmation Ghostbusters, uh, the evil giants from the BFG versus the Titans from Attack on Titan. Th those are my suggestions. So um, yeah, that's that's all I gotta say. You guys know what to do. If if there's anything you guys want me to react to, just leave it in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Thank you guys for watching, and if there's a series you want me to check out, and review, and give my thoughts on it, or if there's a top 10 list you want me to do, or any reactions, or responses, or rants on anything geeky, just leave links and comments in the comment sections below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And if you guys want to follow me on my social medias, I'm on Minds.com, Twitch, Dailymotion, and Hatron, Reddit, BitChute, aka the new YouTube, DeviantHeart, Discord, Vidme, Gab, Twitter, Tumblr, Patreon, GoFundMe, PayPal, and my other social medias are down there in the description box below. So if you want to go and check them out, please do. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video. And please go and check out my new skeptic channel, Gypsy Freak. It's also down there in the description box below. Peace out.